Hey, are you there? Hey, how are you? I'm reading this book. This is an awesome book called Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert T. Kwasky. And this is a very nice book. I should recommend you to read this book. And from this, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Okay. So as I have promised you, I am going to show you one interesting thing in my Ajax series and that is the search box. The autocomplete UI of the jQuery will be here with us to help us in searching from our database. So let's see what we need to create that system. We have completed everything for the Ajax series like a CRUD system. And now this is the extra thing I have told you and from after this the series is ended and new series will be started from next video and that will be there are two series the first one with the sublime text the packages I am using for you and next will be the blog series these two will uh, run parallelly okay so keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to get the latest update and also follow me on Facebook so let's get started obviously we need a search box so firstly create a search box for that I will go to my sublime where is my sublime here it is and I will go resources folder the views folder and this is the list.blade.php the view file okay here I have opened this and you can see this is our whole project obviously you can separate this script file into a new JS file okay but for now it's okay okay so you can see we have this call lg offset 3 okay and this is the model which is not shown until unless you click on the button so what we need a need we need a lg of 2 just after this so what i want i want a search box here okay just on the right side of this panel okay so i will create a input box of type text and class will be form control and you can see i am giving this suggestions by sublime because i have installed the bootstrap package and obviously i will going to show you in my sublime text packages series okay so don't worry for that so this is a form control and let's say name will be um, let's say item and ID will be say search item it is nice okay so we have everything here here refresh the page and it's nice but I want to bring a one more thing called search S E A R search okay and now it's nice Oops, why I go there? Okay, so you can see it's looking very nice. And what I want when I type here T, I want uh, items related to T word or oh, T letter. Okay, so for that, I will grab the jQuery UI. Okay, so for that, I will just catch jQuery UI CDN. So I will go here and now you can see you have here this is nice so we have to grab the css file for ui and for js both one so you can see we have this and as it's a css file so it will come up here and next is jquery that means sorry js file so js file will come just after this script and now as we are going to use the autocomplete so i will search here autocomplete and this is the documentation of autocomplete okay now you can see here's the first functionality and here's the demo if you type t it will give you the the data related to t okay and here is the source code so you can see it's having 
jQuery UI JS, jQuery UI CSS and other more things but we are interested in this script okay and now I will just copy it paste it just after this so save changes okay so here it is and obviously we are not having any tags ID so our input box having ID of item so let's make it ID of search item and if it is nice then we have to make here okay and now let's try okay so I will go here refresh the page and now when I will type T you can see we are getting the items but these items are from this array and we are not going to use these things so what I will do firstly I will create a route so for route creation I will just copy and paste and I am not using C control C control V I have just used control shift and D okay and then what I will do I will on go on the paste uh, sorry on the post and I will just press control D so it will select that post and I will say get now I will go to update and again press control D so it will select that update word and again if I select if I press control D it will select the next one okay and as both are selected I have to just type one more time okay search okay and now I will copy this and as we have created this route obviously we have to give here instead of this available tag we are going to create we are going to give the link so for that what I will do I will just copy this thing from here and instead of list I will say search and obviously we does not have any function in our controller so let's go to controller which is inside app http controllers list controller and here create a new function so I will just copy and paste I have selected this and I will press control shift D and now instead of this I will say search oh why I ever forgot R okay now it's good and now what we have to do we have to search according to the search result but before that let's check this thing okay so for that what I will do I will just let's say what I have to do um, where it is oh here it is so let's say I want to return this whole thing so I will go here and instead of all these stuffs I will return that thing okay so I'm here and obviously I have to say dollar because this is a PHP system and I have returned these things so now let's go here refresh the page open the console so we can check we are getting correct or not here type T and we can see we are getting the list we have okay so obviously this is giving us everything related to T but what we want we want to have our item list okay so what I have to do obviously we have request and we have the item that means search term in our request so I will say term is equal to request arrow and search item search item so I think we have to use here term so let's say use term and refresh the page okay so it doesn't matter what you have given the search box name so it will always catch with a word term okay okay so I think when I type here anything I will type T so it will give T but because it's not an array so it's not giving that thing now we have to get the data according to the search term so for that I will do I will just type dollar item is equal to I will use the model of item colon colon where item 
is like like what like percentage dot dot percentage not dollar <laughs> and here I will type the term okay and here I will say simply get okay so let's try to return item and let's see what we will get we will get let's refresh the page and we get these things so that means we are getting many things but when I go here refresh and type T you can see we are not getting anything that is because we have to give a single word because we are getting many of the object inside the array we, but autocomplete does not want these things so what that want for that what I will do I will just create a if statement and I will say count of count what count item so count item and if item is equal to zero just return oops return return what no item found okay so let's see let's search with the term which is not in any of the item let's say z so we are getting z but let's see what happened what is given. oh that's because i have returned here okay now oops t we have to say z no item found so here what i will do i will say z and it's not giving anything don't know why let's say v okay okay so what i will do i will say here um, search result as an array is equal to this and after this i will return search result and just after a few seconds you will know why i have done these things so i will go here refresh the page and you can see now it's inside an array and that is autocomplete want and now i will refresh the page type z and you can see now it's giving no item found so but when the result or the item is counting not is equal to zero that means it has some values then i will create a for each loop and i will say items let's say it is an item because there are more items and now here what i will do i will say let's say it's okay and we know that we are going to grab everything inside the search result is equal to value okay and let's see what we will get here we will get no item because it's z if we type t we get many things but we don't want these things we want only what the item so we want value of item so you can see we are getting these things so now i will go here refresh the page type t and now we have the search let's say i want to search for sixth so i will say s i x and you can see we are getting only one thing so this is the search result with the ajax okay and from this thing i think we are going to complete this ajax series and if in the future i got any of the interesting thing related to ajax i will put that thing on this series so don't forget to subscribe and follow me on facebook and if you have any problem related to this series related to anything related to laravel related to any development <laughs> you can please feel free to comment me message me anywhere i will always going to help you okay so we will meet in the next episode of new series of sublime text and the block and the admin panel that means i will create a blog and the 
admin panel for that block so we will use everything we have learned this the search result we are using that thing we are using ajax we are using uh, authentication we will use every aspect we will use the um, email verification we will give send the email to the login person we will log in any of the user we will create the multi auth system we will create the role system on our uh, admin panel okay and much more thing and obviously if you have any idea that will I implement on my series please 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 comment me <laughs> okay so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye